This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hernandez says, after WrestleMania six and the success in Toronto, do you think the Astrodome was ever seriously considered to host before WrestleMania 17? Yeah, it was, it, it definitely was, but it never really worked out because of the Houston livestock show and rodeo. A lot of times, depending upon when that would start, you would have to finish up the rodeo and be able to clear everything out of the rodeo before you could do another event in there. So that kind of really prohibited a WrestleMania in Houston for a long time until, you know, obviously we got to 2000 um, or 2001. Was it 2001? It's 2000, right? 2000. I don't fucking know. It was WrestleMania 17, goddammit. WrestleMania 17 was 01. Okay, fine. That's what I said. P. Diddy, not that P. Diddy, wants to know whose idea was it to take home commemorative chairs at pay per views and how did it become a thing? Uh, that became a thing. I believe it was Bob Collins, who was the promotions guru at the time. And I'm not sure if the NBA had done it for a championship game one time. And we were looking at it thinking, this is a hell of a souvenir to have. You know, it, it's, I, it, it proves I was ringside at WrestleMania is kind of how it began. Uh, how do I, yeah, bullshit, you weren't ringside. Oh yeah, here's the chair, motherfucker. And the only way that you could get that chair was to have been sitting ringside at WrestleMania or at that event. So that's the kind of concept behind it. And I want to give Bob Collins credit for that. That's, this is deja vu here. Uh, BC wants to know, were there any big celebrity involvements possible for WrestleManias that fell through and were never reported by the dirt sheets? Um, you know, I, I think the, Hmm. <sighs> yeah, there, there, there were, God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of some, you know, when you ask fucking questions and you can't come up with answers, that's just the drizzly shit for ask Bruce anything. Um, we had, you know, we had Tyson different times and he fell through different times. Um, God, what were some of the fucking others that actually fell through? I, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Um, I think we had Chuck Norris for WrestleMania seven in LA that fell through. Um, but God damn, I, uh, you know, it, it's, it's funny when, when shit falls through, you just move on to the next thing a lot right. of times. So you, you forget about it and, and you have, you have to, you have to block that shit from your mind because otherwise you're trying to make everything else fit into that plan. If that makes any sense. So like Chuck Norris falls through. Okay. I don't have Chuck Norris, but I have, um, Elizabeth Montgomery and I'm trying to make Elizabeth Montgomery fit into the Chuck Norris plan. It doesn't work. You know what I mean? It's like you get your set on shit and you can't. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.